Hello, my name's Eric and welcome to the Big Man is Outdoors. Um, putting together a video uh, about reloading for my 224 Valkyrie, uh, specifically for the Hornady ELD Match 80 grain bullet that I reloaded using uh, Varget and not Reloader 17 but H4350. I used Federal Once Fired Rifle Brass and Winchester Small Rifle Primers. The Varget I shot was 23.5 grains and the H4350 I used 27.5 grains. Now the first time I shot these, I mentioned in a previous video, To get the what seems to be the ideal bullet seating length for this bullet for my rifle the overall length was too big for my magazine I think it was like 2.32 inches give or take um, and I had to seat it a little deeper and I didn't quite get the groupings that I wanted to, to get. So what I did was I created two loads uh, of each, two five shot groups, one using Varget at a shorter overall length, uh, about a hundredth of an inch shorter than I shot the first one, and then also at a which would so that length based, based to ogive was 1.75 inches and I also did a group at a base to ogive of 1.79 inches which is the two hundredths of an inch jump to the lands which my rifle really seems to like of the bullets that I've shot in the past uh, that that particular seating depth giving me that jump produces my most accurate uh, results. So I wanted to load them long and then shorter and then see if that made a difference for this bullet. So I did 10 with Varget, 5 long, 5 short, and I did 10 with H4350, 5 long, 5 short and we'll go ahead and take a look at the video of shooting those and then come back and look at the results.
So here is the results for the H4350 for the 80 grain ELD Hornady. Again, this was 27.5 grains. Uh, my first group I shot was at the longer length and that produced a 0.91 inch group, 0.86 MOA. The second group I shot was with the shorter length and that produced a 171 inch group, 0.164 MOA. I did get chrono readings off of this group. Unfortunately, that's the only uh, group that I got chrono readings on for this section. Uh, my low was 27.45. My high was 27.61. I had an extreme spread of 16.29 with a standard deviation of 7.44. Looks like I didn't write the average down. But that was what I got out of the short. Now for the Varget, I didn't get the short uh, group on camera because my downrange camera ran out of room. So, uh, unfortunately I don't have video of me actually shooting that group, but the Long group had a 0 .013 inch, 0 .98 MOA, and the short had a 1.0, or sorry, 1.06 1 inch, 1.02 MOA group. Um, I was kind of surprised that this grouped as well as it did, because I was expecting, especially given the H4350, where there's a considerable difference between the long and the short, um, these two aren't too far off of uh, group sizing. So I might play around with Varget at the shorter length, maybe play around my seating depth to see if I can tighten this group up and actually get it to fit in my magazine. I haven't done the 88 grain ELDs yet. I don't have any uh, bullets for them. I haven't shot any factory loads either. So if I can get this group or something uh, with this bullet, I know that uh, the 80s, 80 ELD, oh, I don't know that. I've heard that the 80 and the 88 grain ELDs have very similar bullet profiles. So. My concern is that if I'm using the 88s to get the ideal jump, uh, again, my, my bullet overall length or my shell overall length will be too long for my magazine. So if I can get something out of the 80s, I might take a look at the 88 grains. But that being said, I uh, appreciate you watching. This is the Big Man's Outdoors. Until next time, have fun outside.